This is Sport's newest fan community, and we are looking squarely at cricket, and in particular, the 100, which is England cricket's newest format, a 100-ball format that's coming to uh, a lot of grounds around the country this summer from the 21st of July for a month. Uh, we want to bring that to you, we want to talk about it, and we want to get you involved as we go through that journey with us. So please do like, subscribe, and make some comments down below so we know what you're thinking about that sport. I'm Tom, I'm the club proprietor. To my left, my right even, let's talk the right way around. Uh, I have opening batsman, Jeffrey Boycott Reborn, Ollie Scully. Oh. Hi there. And that way, Rich Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Wicked keeper, reborn, and also cricket enthusiast. So you can start us off, Rich. What is the 100 and why is it exciting? So the 100 is a new tournament from the ECB. It's going to be a short form, so similar to 2020, but rather than each side facing 120 balls, they'll be facing, can you guess, 100 balls. There's going to be eight teams from seven different cities. It's going to be high octane. It's going to be power hitting. It's going to be dynamic fielding. It's going to be smart bowling. Essentially, all the things you love about cricket in a condensed three-hour format. Nice. And and for me, one of the exciting things we're going to see is we're going to see a lot more overseas stars coming across. And it's going to be, as you say, condensed, not just in terms of the games, but also in sort of the, the, the time span of the whole tournament. So it's going to be fast, furious and pretty exciting in that sense. And uh, we're looking to um, follow it in a number of ways. But I mean, it's had some controversy in its in its in in how it's come about. So for you, Ollie, what, what's excited you to it and what what? What makes it uh, a version of cricket that's worth our attention? Well, I think uh, as a tournament, it's going to be very exciting because you've got men's and women's teams. Mm. Uh, and, you know, it's very much going to be that both uh, both are getting equal coverage. They're both going to be uh, on terrestrial television. And I've got a young daughter who is just getting into cricket. She's just starting to play. And uh, for us, it's going to be great because she's, she's going to see cricket and we're going to talk about cricket. So I'm hoping that kind of we're going to get start talking cricket around the around the dinner table, and, um, instead of uh, instead of My Little Pony. I think you know, that's what <laughs> that's what currently dominates dinner time conversation. So if we could start talking about uh, what's been going on down at the Oval, or how the Trent Rockets have been getting on against the uh, um, the Southern Brave, then that's a big step up in terms of our um, our evening conversation. Well, to be fair, I think we're all pretty sick of your My Little Pony chat. So if you could, <laughs> if you could cut that out, that would be great. Um, but, you know, it, it is going to, it is certainly trying on the on the packet, as it were, to bring in a new generation of fans. And as you said there, a lot of it's on free to air, quite a lot of it on YouTube. I think all the women's games are on YouTube. So you shouldn't be starved of it, even if you are like me, trapped north of a wall in a completely <laughs> different country. So um, I think that's a, a you know, how a lot of people will enjoy it. But of course, with COVID restrictions, crossed fingers, touching wood uh, being lifted, um, there's going to be a lot of opportunity to actually go and see it. And you mentioned seven cities where you can go and, go and sit it, see it. Um, Rich, what does the ticketing look like and what games might you be interested in going to see? So, as I said, aside from Ollie's back garden, it's going to be played at seven <laughs> of the biggest grounds in the country. Uh, Lords, where the London Spirit are playing, Oval, uh, for the Oval Invincibles. The Southern Brave will be playing at the Rose Bowl in Southampton. You'll have the Welsh Fire playing in Cardiff. Uh, the Birmingham Phoenix will play at Edgebaston. Um, and in Nottingham, you're uh, playing at Trent Bridge. You'll have the Trent Rockets. The Manchester Originals will play at Old Trafford. And finally, you'll have the Northern Superchargers, who will ba be based out of Leeds and be playing at Headingley. I've already got my tickets for London Spirit versus the Oval Invincibles on the 25th of July. It'll be a double header. A lot of the games are with the women's game going first and then the men's game. And there's a range of options throughout the grounds, um, in, including family stands, which will be alcohol free areas. So people who might be concerned about you know, cricket being a bit rowdy or you know, not wanting to be around a lot of people drinking, there'll be places where they can get tickets as well. And it's free for under fives and it's reduced rates for five to 16 year olds. That's that's pretty good actually. That so in terms of a day out, you're going to get a a good few hours of entertainment for hopefully a fairly reasonable package, right? Absolutely, and I'm going to embarrass the hell of my out my daughter by dancing to the uh, club DJs. 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they've all been announced now. Check them out on Instagram, I'm sure. Um, so, but, I mean, you're going to the an early game on the 25th. Ollie, have you got any tickets yet? Uh, no, I'm uh, I'm looking to get tickets for the first game. I think the uh, I think I want to be able to say that I was there for the very first first fixture, and so that's 21st of July. That's the uh, Ola Midsbulls take on the um, take on the uh, Manchester Originals, and that's uh, that one's just uh, just a women's game. So it's only one game, but that will be where the razzmatazz is to to launch the event. So I think I'm going to take my daughter to that one, and so then she can say that she was there when uh, when the first game of the hundred was played. That's nice. They, they are genuinely walking the walk uh, in terms of doing this properly for men's and women's at the same time. And, you know, it's about about time, to be brutally honest. So I think that's great. Um, I'm going to be watching a lot of it, as I say, online. And we're going to be following it um, with some reaction shows, uh, some live chats as we go on. So uh, plenty of opportunity for those who can get there to talk about it, but also those who can't. So um, is there anyone in particular that you're going to follow in terms of a team? Have you picked anyone yet? Um, I mean, not, Ollie, have you got a team? No, I'm going to. What we're going to do as part of this uh, part of this show is profile each of the um, yeah. each of the teams. We're going to have a good look at who's playing for them, uh, look at their stats, look how they've got on in some of the T20 franchise competitions around the world, because that's kind of the best proxy that we've got uh, for the hundred. It's probably the closest format. Uh, and so after that, then I'll pick my uh, pick my team. I've had a pretty bad run of it over the uh, <laughs> over the years with the football, so I don't want to. I don't want to be sat uh, sat cheering on um, a team that's uh, that's not going to make it out of the out of the group. So uh, I'm going to look at these stats and uh, and choose a choose myself a good one. Okay, but to be quite clear, you're going to be made to choose a team before <laughs> before the games start, right? Yeah, I think you know just just in the run up to the final, that should be okay, shouldn't it? I'll play through the final. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait till before. the first uh, wait till the first innings has been played. See how the batting team get on. See what they're chasing. Is that Not okay? An Not an option. <laughs> okay. I'm penciling it in now. The big okay. reveal party for you. <laughs> I am going to support X. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a yeah. I'll, we'll do a big reveal. I'll get to get myself a tattoo with the franchise on, and I'll yeah. do the brandish the forearm with my, with my new logo. <laughs> Face tattoo. That's what I'm <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and Rich, have you got a team? Yeah, I have chosen. So I'm a North London guy. I'm going to be sporting the London spirit. Um, a lot to be excited about them. They're going to be led by Owen Morgan's in the men's and Heather Knight in the in the women's. So both England captains. And I think it's going to be really important to be on top of the strategy in this new short format game. So I think that gives a big advantage there. Um, you talked about overseas stars. Still some uh, up in the air as to who's going to make it over because of the pandemic. But hopefully they all make it, make it over. And the London Spirit have got Glenn Maxwell playing for them, the Aussie batsman who's just been fantastic in the IPL and international cricket over the last 10 years. So be really excited to see him playing for the spirit. They've also got uh, Zach Crawley, young batsman from Kent, did really well in the tests last year, but he's actually got a different string to his bow and was fantastic in the T20s for Kent last year. So I'm really looking forward to see how he goes in the 100. And then the women's side as well, they've got Tammy Beaumont, another Kent batsman, uh, Kent batter, who uh, is ranked number one in the ODI uh, rankings at the minute and I think is going to be absolutely phenomenal in this tournament as well. Yeah, that's pretty pretty decent lineup. But I think when you see us get into each of the teams, I mean, I'm a Welsh fire kind of person. I think uh, you're going to see that there's a pretty intimidating list of stars on all of the teams, men's, women's, and actually, in some ways, actually, I think they've almost attracted the the, the sort of the very top echelons of the women's game. So that's going to be some good quality stuff. I think that's um, part of the attraction of it as well is the concentration of talent within the eight teams. I mean, it's going to be such a high standard. And we've not seen it in domestic cricket in this country to the point, you know, it's about time we got it over here onto the scale of the IPL. But even better than that, we're going to have tighter games, tighter format. And uh, hopefully this is just the first season of many to come on that scale. Um, so we know we're going to follow it. Uh, we're going to do a series of programmes from here. There's going to be uh, an alternate sort of preview, um, review of the rules, the draft process. Then we're going to do the team profiles. Then we're going to get into some of the previews for the shows and the, the weeks of cricket itself. And as I say, what we really want to do is get some live broadcast chat show type uh, events going on during the season, getting you guys on screen uh, such that you can give your opinion about what you've just seen at the cricket and uh, and making that uh, well known to everyone who's into cricket. Uh, so please, if you want to be part of that journey, do like, subscribe, uh, get involved. Uh, what platforms are we going to be on, Rich? So if podcasts are more your thing, you'll be able to find us on iTunes, on Spotify, or wherever you find your podcasts. 
Great. Uh, as I say, on YouTube, uh, Facebook video, uh, Instagram, Twitter, there's plenty of ways to find us. We're not going to be shy. So please <laughs> join us on the journey. journey. And for now, uh, the club is closing down, but we'll be back real soon. Thank you.